Hey guys, ViscoScom24 here, bringing you a real quick redstone video. Today, I'm going to be simply giving you a world download for like cave doors with the layout all built from 7x7 7 7 through to 16x16, and giving you a better explanation than my last explanation video, or at least adding on to it, because the last one didn't cover a few of the cool little things that um I found with this layout algorithm as I've built it bigger and bigger um, that I'd like to share with you all and sort of try and explain in the best way that I understand them. So I just fly all the way back here. My frames are going to drop a lot, but you'll also get to see all of the doors that I've made. This has been a, a little while of building, just a, li just a little, just a little. But um, they're all finally here. And I'm gonna be showing you some very, very cool bits to the algorithm. Now, of course, if you don't actually care and just want to have the layouts um, of course, download will be in the description, zip file, Google folder, all that cool stuff. But first, let's start off explaining the differences between even by even and odd by odd. Just you know, like at um, sort of like at a front first note. I don't even know what I'm saying. But like first things you'll notice is that for starters, on the odd by odd, the bottom and the top are different. And the reason for this is, as I explained in the other video. Um, if you have, for in an in a odd by odd door, a four piston extender for seven by seven from the bottom and the top, you'll see the bottom one try to push into the center, and it will. But if the top one tries to push into the center, it'll collide with that one, and it'll probably make a mess. So, you know, instead of having these two extenders that just crash into each other, what I do is I make it so that I use pretty much the exact same layout from the bottom, only instead of having like a four piston extender for seven by seven here, I have a three piston extender there. And those three all just take up um, this area. So these six blocks are controlled by those three extenders and uh, it just sort of helps with uh, keeping everything simple. The, now, for odd by odd, 8 by 8 and 7 by 7 are practically the same, um, and I'll explain what I mean by that in a little bit. But for even by even, you can have extenders from the ceiling um, and the floor that go together to make the middle, because you're going to need them. Because, uh, you know, 8 by 8, I already explained this part. But that's kind of how this works. So for the odd by odds, you only have the, like you only have one of the longest type of extender, and it'll be on the bottom normally if you want to just have a simpler, simpler uh, wiring challenge. Um, and then for odd by odd, you know, even by even, you can have two long extenders from the top and bottom. And that sort of holds true for all of the odd by odd and even by even doors. As you can see here, in this nine by nine, you'll see I have four quad, um, three quad extenders right there, and then one quint. You know, three four piston extenders and then one five piston extender. And that's just so that, you know, they don't collide and they actually link together um, and create a nice a nice mesh. Um, then for the 10 by 10, you'll see I have one five piston extender and then another five piston extender that'll come together to create that, which will be the center of the door. Um, so yeah, the piston ex um, like the piston extender algorithm that I made a video on is actually what really, really helped has ha has been helping me with the making these doors. Um, I, I I don't think I would have been able to make much larger than a seven by seven if I hadn't discovered it. Um, so very, very helpful with ma when making these things. Um, but the the um, frick the layout algorithm does sort of hold true all the way through to twelve by twelve. 13 by 13 and 14 by 14 sort of push it. Um, but it really doesn't fall apart entirely until you get to 15 by 15 and 16 by 16 and so on and so on, so on and so forth. Um, reason for this is the way that the layout algorithm works is it sort of repeats upon itself. And I'm gonna show you that right now. Let me just go to the beginning. So when I talk about it repeating upon itself, I am talking about how the extenders are laid out. So as you can see here, in the 7x7, seven seven, you will get a quad piston extender, three piston, and then four, then three and 
no, three and two, sorry, and then three and two again, and then you'll have your one piston extenders right there and there. But the way that the layout algorithm works is it starts at one, then it goes to two, then it goes to three, then it goes to four, etc., etc. And in the seven by seven is when it first, like, um, repeats itself with another one piston extender right there. And the reason for this is the way that the um, extenders are sort of staggered makes it so that Let me just quickly build this out. So that when the, all the um, slime extenders and these little singles up at the front there um, extend, all of those blocks will be taken care of except for this one because none of the slime will be sticking to it. So you have to have another one. That's what this little guy is for. But the thing is, the larger you get, the bigger the, the extenders in the middle get. So like that right there, seven, pi um, seven by seven piston door, only has a single piston extender in the middle. Um, which is manageable. Also on the top, you'll notice same thing. One, one, two, two, three, three, and then that three one there just so that they don't collide in the middle. But you'll also see that there has to be another one piston extender to take up that block, um, just to take care of the block. So, you know, yeah, that's how that works. And with the eight by eight, it's pretty much the same. You'll see one, two, three, and four, and uh, the same thing will happen. These two pistons here will have to take care of those two blocks, because they won't be taken care of when all the pistons extend, all the piston extenders extend. And then same thing up on the top, those two there. Ooh, that is one thing I forgot to do. Good thing I'm, I have yet to make the actual download, so I can make these little edits. I forgot to put in these pistons, of course. I need to do this uh, so that you guys, you know, can experiment it with it and not have to uh, do a bunch of building. There you go. So yeah, um, again, these piston extenders, one, two, three, four, and then you'll have to have it repeat again on itself. Well, that right there is the re how it repeats on itself on the like smallest scale I have in this world. But if you want to scale it up even larger, you then have to have bigger piston extenders in the middle. So as you can see here, you'll have your one, two, three, four, and then five piston extenders. And that's all good, but if you have them all extend, I'm just gonna really quickly build it all up. Have them all extend like so, and you know, you'll, you'll get to there, you'll notice, hey, look at this. There's a huge gap in the bottom of the door. So that's what these pistons here take care of. Again, the algorithm repeats on, on upon itself. One, two, three. But now you have one, and then you have two. You have another like piston extender that will require slime in the middle. Or at least it won't require slime, but slime helps. <laughs> so, yeah. That's how the repetition happens. And if I go to the larger piston doors after breaking out all of these blocks, you will see how the layout really does repeat on itself a lot. Oop, accidentally broke some obsidian there. There we go. So yeah, 10 by 10 is almost the exact same as the 9 by 9, just with a different top layout and, you know, everything's a little bit bigger. But here in the 11 by 11 is when you really do start to see the layout algorithm repeat itself. One, two, three, four, five, six. But now you're going to have in here one, two, and three. It's all coming back around. It It's it's around about 11 by 11 that things start getting r difficult because you're going to have to have a like a triple piston extender, two double piston extenders, and two single piston extenders in front of your one through six piston extenders. It, it gets very, very messy, um, and that is now no fun, but it, it is doable, technically. So you can, you can do this. Um, 12 by 12 is, again, you see, like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you'll have your one, two, and three, very simple. And on the 12 by 12, actually, the sides will go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you'll have your 1 and your 2 on the 12 by 12. Same thing with the 11 by 11, 1 and 2. So that the, um, the piston extender algorithm, um, the piston extender layout algorithm, it um, will 
repeat on itself. Starting at actually 9x9 nine nine for the sides, um, you'll see here 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you'll see 1. Now, basically, the way that the um, algorithm exists in a way, um, <laughs> the way that the algorithm exists, I'm stupid, but the way the algorithm works for the sides is that you basically take the bottom layout of the door that would have come before it in terms of size. So like for 7x7, seven seven, you would look at a theoretical 5x5 five five layout, um, and then you'd flip it on its side and put it onto the sides. So for the for example, you would see this on the bottom of a 5x5 five five cave door layout if, if I were to make one, which this would be kind of a dumb thing to do because it would use way too much slime, far too many extenders, but it, it would be flipped on its side. And if you look at the bottom here, um, bottom layout for the 7x7, seven seven. One, two, three, four, then three, two, one, and then one piston extender. If you want to go over to the 9x9, nine nine, you'll see one, two, three, four, three, two, one, and then one piston extender. It's like we took the bottom layout for the 7x7 seven seven um, cave door, flipped it on its side, and stuck it onto the side of the 9x9, nine nine, and onto the other side, too. And um, the 8x8 bottom and top layouts are on the sides of the 10x10. 10 10. And that's kind of how the sides work. They sort of steal the uh, the layout for the bottom of the door that came before them. So if it's an odd by odd door, you want to look at like the previous odd by odd. So for 11 by 11, it would be 9 by 9. For 9 by 9, it would be 7 by 7, 7 by 7, 5 by 5. 3 by 3, you don't really need to use slime at all. But yeah, you know, <laughs> anything below 7 by 7, you don't need to use slime really. Um, or at least not as much slime. So, yeah, that's how that works. Then, up here, have the 12 by 12. Now, this is the 13 by 13, and this is when things really do start to ramp up. So, as I said, um, before, the side layouts for these doors are like the previous, um, ones flipped for the bottom. So, if you want to look at the 11 by 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then 1, well, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, then 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. You will find that on the sides of the 13 by 13, which is what makes it super difficult, because this 6-piston extender here, and then these 5-piston extenders have to be synchronized. It just, it gets very messy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. It, it's there. And then for the bottom of it, if I go down here quickly and show you, this is, again, things start to ramp up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, three, two, one. But here, the layout starts to repeat on itself again. The third layer will be this single piston extender right there. And that single piston extender isn't actually the most difficult thing to power at all. You can just power it, like, directly from the front here. Like, if you had your lever, somewhere here you could just run a line of redstone into it but it's the beginning of the end and the 14 by 14 is again pretty simple it's like taking the 12 by 12 bottom layout and flipping it on its side shoving it onto the 14 by 14 side but the bottom also has the exact same thing where you see one two three it repeats on itself three times um, which is where things get difficult. 15 by 15 and 16 by 16 have it repeat on itself three times yet again but this time if I go down here and show you one two three four, five, six, seven, eight. So already you're getting huge, huge piston extenders at the back here. But if I go up to the front again, one, two, three, four, and then five piston extenders, and then I'll have to repeat again, one and two. So this is where things really start to pick up the pace, you know, I guess you could say. Things really, really start getting dense here. And now these layouts are just straight from the algorithm itself. It hasn't really been optimized for the push limit, if you want to take on that challenge, I encourage encourage you to do so. In fact, none of the layouts have actually been optimized for the push limit. Um, they're all just sitting here, f taken directly from the algorithm. No modifications, no improvised bits to make it easier to wire. Um, because I, I just wanted to show the layout algorithm itself. And that right there is an issue. Um, but yeah, 16 by 16, it's like you've taken the 14 by 14 bottom layout, which is already very um, complicated, and flipped it on its side and slapped it onto the side of the 16 by 16. It is super, super extender, like, dense for a side layout, but that's not even the worst of it. Worst of it is the bottom and the top. The, um, the bottom here requires you to have, like, 
it repeats on itself three times again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then you have one, two, three, four, five, and then you have your one and your two. But the thing is, this time it's too wide. So these block, um, these piston extenders will be pushing a bit more blocks. Those middle piston extenders. So yeah, that's uh, that's where it gets very difficult. But all the layouts are here for you to mess around with and to attempt to wire if you wish to. Now that right there is my bird. Um, he is tweeting. He likes to tweet in response to my sister's bird. <laughs> they're, they're having a little tweet session right now. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, if you could, that'd be pretty cool. But I don't know. Regardless, that's all the extenders. Um, yeah. All the extenders laid out properly. If you want to have a go at any of these doors, I wish you luck because they they are stupidly, stupidly big once you get like further on in the world. And I just did them all in a row. The world spawn is at seven by seven at the seven by seven, so you should be able to easily find your way around from there. But regardless, um you can have a go at this, I guess. And yeah, hope you enjoy this real quick video on my piston ex um, piston layout thing. Frick, I can't speak English, but you yeah, know, there it is. If you want to do that, um, it's all going to be there for you in the description. Um, also, if you find any weird things with the layout, let me know. I have explored it a lot. <laughs> I've looked very deep into the into the way that this layout algorithm works. So it, it, it I don't know, <laughs> you know, like. I'm I'm I know most of the ins and outs of it and all the cool little like patterns that you can find in it. But if you do find a new one um, that I didn't explain in this video, feel free to just let me know in the comments because it's always cool when people just you know find cool things in these doors. Now, do I expect anyone to be able to just straight up make a fort um, the 16 by 16 without any experience? No, but I do know that there are a lot of more redstone inclined people in the bedrock edition redstone community who are much better than me um <laughs> and and will probably be able to easily take on the challenge of something as huge as a 15 by 15 i've been trying to work on one but i also want to do live craft episodes so it hasn't been going exactly the best uh but I'll keep you guys updated with labcraft and of course redstone videos if you care at all i don't know anyways anyways Thank you all for watching. I'm ViscoseComb24, and I'll see you next time. So yeah, again, thank you all for watching. I'm ViscoseComb24. Fuck you, Kappa, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.